ਨੇ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਦੇ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਪੰਦਰਾ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਅਧਿਕਾਰ ਰਹਿਤਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਕੀ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਕਰੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਬੀਚ ਮਾ ਆਏ ਹਮੇ ਸੰਬੋਧਿਤ ਕਰੇ ਤੋ ਕੀ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਆਪਕੇ ਬੀਚ ਮਾ ਆ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਅਭੀ ਆਪਕੇ ਬੀਚ ਮਾ ਬਾਤ ਰੱਖੇਗੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਸ਼ੈਡਿਊਲ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਬੀਜੀ ਰਹਤਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਉਸਕੇ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਆਪਕੇ ਬਰਕਰਸ ਕੋ ਉਹ ਪੂਰਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇਤੇ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਉਹਕੇ ਏਕਤਾ ਕੋ ਅਗੇ ਬੜਾਤੇ ਹੈ ਉਹਕੇ ਸੰਘਰਸ਼ੋ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਲੜਤੇ ਹੈ ਤੋ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਬੀਚ ਮਾ ਵੀ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਹਮਾਰਾ ਜੋ ਸਰਵੰਤ ਪੇ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਾਥ ਬੇਦ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਅਭੀ ਅਭੀ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਨਾ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਕੇ ਸਾਥ ਬਰ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਜਾਵੇ ਕੇ ਜੋ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਐਚਆਰਡੀ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਹੈ ਉਸੇ ਮਿਲੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਉਹਨੇ ਰੱਖਾ ਹੈ ਆਜ ਆਪਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਰੱਖੇਗੇ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹਤਾ ਹੂੰ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਬਾਤ ਕੋ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਵੀ ਰੱਖਤੇ ਆਏ ਹੈ ਅਬ ਵੀ ਰੱਖੇਗੇ ਔਰ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰੱਖੇਗੇ ਔਰ ਆਜ ਆਪਣਾ ਮੈਮੋਰੈਂਡਮ ਵੀ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਤੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਬਾਤ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਔਰ ਹਮ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਬਮਿਟ ਕਰੇਗੇ ਤੋ ਸਾਥੀਓ ਅਬ ਮੈਂ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਸਾਥੀ ਜੋ ਇਤਨਾ ਕਿਉਂਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਆਪਣਾ ਨਿਕਾਲ ਕਰਾਏ ਮੈਂ ਚਾਹੂੰਗਾ ਉਹ ਹਮੇ ਸੰਬੋਧਿਤ ਕਰੇ हमारे को हमारी हौसला सुधार करो और हम अपने मांगों के प्रति हमारे अपने संघर्षों के प्रति आगे बढ़ सके कांग्रेस लीडर मैडम आप थोड़ा सा हमें इनको थोड़ा ये हो जाएंगे ना तो सबको दिखा दे मेरे लिए कौन है फ्रेंड्स एंड कांग्रेस आई हैव कम हियर टू एक्सप्रेस the support and solidarity of my party the communist party of india to your struggle i support your demands your demands are quite genuine demands and uh, i urge upon the government to consider your demands at the earliest friends a couple of days back that is on 5th september thousands of teachers under the leadership of i fatto and perkota they came to delhi they demonstrated they posted a rest here in parliament street police station during that time i took a delegation of leaders of i fatto and perkota to MHRD, Mr. Prakash Javdekar and the newly appointed MOS met the delegation. There was a long meeting, there was a quite meaningful interaction. The leaders insisted upon many demands as you are insisting on your demands, particularly around seventh pay commission why government is not taking any decision on announcing it implementing it mr chaudhary informed the leaders there is a cabinet note and he did not to divulge what is the content of that cabinet note that he admitted there is a cabinet note repeating as soon as possible if that is the assurance ye to ye bhi bahut representatives of teachers i think they should not to give you such assurance and accept your demands also i am not saying that our universities if at all our educational institutions will have to be run successfully it is not only teaching staff equally there is importance for non teaching staff also bahut badhiya and teaching staff and non teaching staff are like two eyes of central universities and they are the two hands and unless these two hands hold the universities universities cannot remain successful this i think 
MHRD, yeah, the Ministry of HRD must realize, I hope Mr. Pragat Javadakar will understand this. On behalf of the party, my party, I can assure you, I will take up your memorandum, I will take up your issues, demands with MHRD. And whether ministry is come forward before the winter session of the parliament, very soon it is well and good. If the ministry drags it on, definitely you can be sure of my party raising this issue inside parliament and asking the government oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and outside parliament will try to settle the issue with the government and if you think at some appropriate time convenient time if you propose some delegation to meet MHRD I am willing to go with you and meet the minister and place your demands for his consideration. So, friends and comrades, this is a real struggle. And unless we struggle, this government will not agree to anything. Even if struggle continues, government doesn't want to share the concern of workers, employees, or farmers and other sections of working people in our country. In the same very gentle mantar, you must be seeing how long the farmers are agitating. The defense ordinance factory employees were agitating. All sections of our people are agitating. Mr. Modi, the Prime Minister, Kids are talking about development. Without the cooperation of the working people, what is the development that country can achieve? In any economy, the working people are the primary force, working force in building the economy, in creating the wealth. But Ms. Modi, doesn't accept this reality. But he keeps on talking about development. He keeps on uttering the very slogan, Sabka Saab, Sabka Vikas. I don't know whether Mr. Modi and his government, Aapka Saab, are nice. That is what I am saying. Modi government, teachers ka saath nahi hai. आपका साथ नहीं है, किसान का साथ नहीं है, केस मंत्री का साथ नहीं है, किसका साथ है बॉडी के अंदर? ये पुंजवादी का साथ है। And I take this gently also, because the majority when I say this, the majority should, Mr. Javadkar was telling us, the finance ministry should give money, and we have been demanding. 6% of GDP should be spent on education. This 6% proposal, you all in the field of education, you must be knowing. Early, way back in 1960s, Kotari Commission proposed 6% of GDP. That was in 60s. Now we are in 2017. That 6% should become 12% and more. But finance ministry is not giving. We have been demanding in the adjacent state of Uttar Pradesh, no one kids are dying, no health care, no oxygen, no oxygen. But what is the money we spend on health care, health care, public health, not even 3%. We are in 2017. That is why you are rightly uh, asked, if you ask that question, what about Mr. Jetli? Earlier Mr. Jetli was looking after defense also. Good that he left defense. Now he has to focus on education. He has to focus on your demands. 
Yes, to put this as we were issues. I hope Prakash Javadakar will take up these issues with the finance minister and the government and the cabinet will have to come out very soon with its opinion. And it is not of no use that cabinet note is pending before cabinet. How long this note can be pending before cabinet? Cabinet should, it is, a, uh, Mr. Modi says, maximum government, minimum government. Now what is happening with your demands? If Mr. Modi believes in maximum governance, tomorrow itself, that government should accept your demands and sort out your problem. That is the meaning of maximum governance. But Mr. Modi believes in fresh mongering. He believes in rhetoric and nothing happens on the ground. That is why you are all on the ground, sitting on the parliament stage. And I look at, when I look at you sitting on the parliament stage, really I feel sad. I feel sad. You must be sitting in your offices and you must see that university is functional, but you are compelled to come on the parliament stage and sit on the parliament stage. This is a part of it. Friends and comrades, you can count upon the solidarity and support of my party. My party will be with you in your struggles. And not only today, even tomorrow, we will continue to support your demands and continue to support your struggles. So as I said, you carry on your struggle, continue your struggle at political level, at parliament level, what I can do, I will do. I can assure you. And if the leaders decide to meet the MHRD in a delegation, you let me know. I can fix up some time with Mr. Pragat Javadakar. The delegation can meet him and impress upon him how the government should deal with your issues and demands. So friends and comrades, you are not alone in your struggle. There is a broad support for your struggle and continue this struggle. We are with you. Thank you.